Hello everyone and welcome. Now today I'm painting with acrylics. I'm working on my 10th painting. I'd love you to see it, but at the moment all my paintings are top secret. Yes, so none of them are going to be revealed until all 15 paintings are done and in the exhibition. So but I don't want to rush it, no. I don't want to rush it just for the sake of wanting to show them. Um, I love to show you them. But at the end of the day, it's a whole new concept. And I don't want anyone to know about it until they are done. And wow, I'm a New Zealand cultural artist. Oh. That's my new title now. That's what I call myself. Um, and so, all my paintings are focused on, that's right, New Zealand cultural art. I wish you could see this. Looking really good. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm putting a lot of work into it. really am. I want these paintings to be the best ever and they're so unique so different and uh, this is going to be my trademark this is what I'm going to be recognized for yeah this is who I am I finally found my technique and uh, I'm doing two different types of painting in my exhibition one is well, there's two, but they, they are both the same, but they are split into two categories, if you can know what I mean. But, uh, and that's how I like it. Because I'm one of these people that uh, always like to do different things, and because uh, I don't like to get bored. So in my painting, instead of like doing different things um, I don't want to be too extreme if you know what I mean I don't want to be doing portraits and then and then on the other side I'm doing landscapes because they're completely different things portraits and landscapes so these ones that I'm doing are both landscapes but they are telling two different things so uh, they're related but they are different and if I'm painting too much of one topic and I want to have a bit of a rest, I can go and do the other topic, which is really cool. It gives me some um, movement. I don't think it's the right word to use. It gives me some... Uh, Flexibility, yes. <laughs> ah, wow. So I'm using these paints, these acrylic paints. Art Deco. They're really good. And now with acrylic paints, I love mixing paints, I really do. But you can put additives into these paints so they don't dry as quick. But I'm still learning, believe it or not. I've been doing half for 30 something years, 30, 40 years. I am still don't know all the tricks. I'm just, I guess, a bit old fashioned. I like to just do them the way I, I sort of do it the way I want to do it. I guess that's why I like doing art. I had art teachers college teaching me art but at the end of the day I ended up doing my own thing <laughs> but it all paid off in the end certainly did um, but the reason why I like acrylic paints is they come with these colors and my style of painting is all about color and I like mixing changing colors as I go but 
when I'm doing an overlap, when there's a bit of painting where there's another colour going over another part, or I make a mistake and I have to paint over it. And if I've mixed a paint, it's never easy to try and get the same colour. So if I just use the colour as it is, it's in the tube, I just use the paint. I don't, there's no mixing involved, so it's really easy. And the good thing about these Art Deco paints is they come with so many varieties of colours, like grey. They might have like 15 greys in the set. Or they might have 12 varieties of blue. So you've got a good choice of colours. You end up spending a lot of money, of course, on buying lots of paint. Um, they're not cheap. I mean, like this one here. It's like 40 Turkish Lar or 30 Turkish Lar, but if, you, if you're coming from another country, it's probably only $4, which is cheap, but not here. So, um, but they certainly go a long way. I use a, um, and some people paint on plastic, some people have pellets and whatever, or pieces of glass to paint on, but I use paper. And the reason why I use paper is, is that if I make the paper wet by putting water on it, it keeps the paint moist and so it stops it from drying out. And, uh, yeah. and once you've finished with the colours, you just rip that page off and you've got a new piece of paper there to work from. So, yeah, little technique. Um, did I tell you what this paintbrush was? Bonds. B-R-O-N-S. It's a good brand. I'm not trying to sell you anything, but that's what I'm using. The tips, they seem to hold their shape. But in, at the end of the day, it's all about how you look after your paintbrushes. And I've got a tendency of not looking after them very well. That's why I've got so many of them that are okay, but not perfect. So there you go, so my aim is to get 15 paintings done by the end of the year and uh, it's going to be an exciting time for everyone, it certainly is, there's going to be a lot happening once these are done, there's a, a lot to, a lot of preparation to, to do once these are done. So this is the easiest part, painting even though it's hard, but uh, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. <laughs> but then again, painting is all about having fun. And there's no rules. There's no who's right and who's wrong. Everyone's equal. You have your own individual styles. It's what makes art unique. That person's not better than the other person. There is certain techniques if you want to go down that line, but that's why I like expressionism, that's why I like abstract, because there's no rules. If I don't want to put shading in my picture, I don't put shading in my picture. If something looks a bit quirky or then too bad, I'll deviate to something else. <laughs> you know? But my paintings tell a story. They have a lot of colour about my heritage, about my culture, and it's, well, you'll get to see them once they are all finished. And even though uh, I'm picking up a screen today, a canvas, not a screen, it's gonna be a big one, 300 by one meter. It's going to be a big painting. It's going to take most of my time. If I can get one painting done a month, or one painting, this one I'm working on now is running into two months, and the one I did recently took me three, nearly four months to finish. And uh, some of them, only, <clears throat> some of the smaller ones normally take me a month. So hopefully, I'll get them all done by the end of the year, all 15 of them.
and I'm working on my 10th. So after this, I've only got five to go. But next week, I'll do another YouTube video, another imagination uh, drawing for you. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, guys. It's been, it means so much to me. And I'm so happy that uh, I'm finding more people are starting to like them. I'm going to uh, go in a different direction. My last two videos were a bit, I don't know, I was a bit overwhelmed by what, ha what has been happening here and around the world. And so I, I put it in the video, but it's only for a few what, minutes and then I get straight into the video and then we can sort of have fun and start drawing. But next week's going to be a lot more happier. Yes. <laughs> more happier. That's right. Ah. I'm painting in my studio. So once these paintings are done, you'll get to see the studio, the paintings. You'll get to see me painting. You'll be seeing a lot more. Yes. A lot more. It's going to be more exciting than just seeing me drawing pictures every week. So, uh, okay. Bye now.